Good afternoon. This is the Global Stock Investor Show. Welcome, global investors. Uh, today, I'll be going over the global global banking sector, part 10. I'm going to give you guys four companies. But before I jump into that, today is Sunday. The market's closed. Pretty much, uh, this is where I left off at, uh, 2.39%. So I'm up 100 and. $132.08. My portfolio as of now is $5,664.96. So um, just showing you guys some transparency on pretty much my journey. And I started from 100 bucks. So whatever it looks like five years from now, it's going to be massive. So this is uh, my second year investing, but um, I've been doing these videos uh, last year the first of November so I'm fairly new second year I'm just pretty much breaking down sectors um, I, I break them down into 50 different sectors so um, I'll get into my strategies later on pretty much um, my ratio my pretty much I'm going for an index fund and my index fund consists of 60% uh, stocks 30% index funds 5% bonds and then 5% uh, precious metals so that's pretty much my current um, ratio for my portfolio as you can see um, I have companies um, as of now I'm 95% stocks 5% index funds so pretty much I'm trying to um, increase my index funds and start adding bonds and then increase my precious metals also so <clears throat> kind of like balancing balancing out my portfolio so when I do next year I hit another uh, as you can see this dip like I'll still be in the positive so I took a nasty hit so I'm thinking if I would have had bonds and index funds it would have it would have kept me up up here but because I'm strictly 95% um, um, stocks this is where I hit so now I'm like okay let me cut down on the stocks um, I, the, cut the percentage down to that like 60% and then add that cushion and then a 30% uh, index fund and then for that more secure cushion is the uh, like a bond bond uh, bond ETF not the uh, bonds you buy from the treasury but actual bond ETFs so those are pretty much my new strategies on how I am um, investing and then I have uh, companies ranging from a thousand all the way down to a dollar as you can see 300 200 100 90 70 80 50 I mean pretty much um, just buying companies with uh, uh, nice dividends I pretty much go for a growth I, I'm pretty much all around when it uh, comes to companies I like to buy growth companies the companies on index um, that's on company side now there's another side where there's index funds and then bonds so let's just I'll be doing a lot of that um, this spring so that's something new that I'm adding in and I'll go over that once I hit a hundred um, companies then I'll start uh, going over my my actual portfolio in depth but pretty much I'll be flip-flopping from sector to my personal portfolio on Robinhood. So this is transparency for you guys. Anything's possible. I, as you can see, I mean, when I first started out on the 4th of January, as you can see, like anything first six months, you're not going to see nothing. And then I started, it just started to rock and roll right after that. So I, I, I felt that peak. I rolled it all the way up and then I rolled it all the way down. So it kind of built my confidence now, so so next year I'll be more, I'm more I'll be more um, uh, protected, more preventing you know this negative eight point six six. So me adding in that thirty percent, I won't I won't hit it so hard. It I I probably float float off here or even maybe bounce off the float and go up. So that's kind of a strategy that I'm learning. So and I know with stocks they're highly volatile. I understand that now. I know to be to balance out that, that volatility, the 30% index fund is going to help with that immensely. 
and then 5% um, bonds is going to help pretty much ties in uh, with the with the index funds and then 5% precious metal that's just something new that's just something part of my masculine uh, confidence buildings course just to have precious metal bars you know um, have silver bars have gold bars platinum and then palladium I think is the fourth one that they, they're selling on the market just to have bars and it's just something for a man to have that that I believe in now you know so having precious metals is part of the you know being a man for a man, for a man to, I mean when you feel that it's just a different type of vibe and energy that radi radiates off those uh, precious metals let's jump into it this is global banking sector part 10 uh, the first global banking company is ICICI Bank okay the five year so look at that pretty much peaked about eleven dollars twenty two cents coming out of a um, bear market market price nine dollars and ninety five cents about ICICI Bank LTD engages in the provision of banking and financial services which includes retail banking corporate banking and treasury operation it it operates through the following segments retail banking wholesale banking treasury and other banking the retail banking segment includes exposures of the bank which satisfy the four qualifying cr criteria of regulatory retail portfolio as stipulated by the Reserve Bank of India guidelines on the Basel third frame framework the wholesale banking segment deals with all advances to trust partnership partnership firms companies and statutory bodies by the bank which are not included in the retail banking segment the Treasury segment handles the entire investment portfolio of the bank the other banking segment comprises leasing operations and other items not attributable to any particular business segment of the bank the company was founded on January 5th 1994 and is headquartered in Mumbai India the current CEO is Sandeep Back, Bakhishi employees 82,724 headquarters Mumbai India global stock investing founded in 1994 market cap 32.02 billion dividend yield 0 0.47 buy 98 96% hold 4% those two together more than 75% the second global banking company is national Australia Bank Australia banks always have high dividends just to let you guys know I know this from doing these shows um, the peak uh, $16.56 back in uh, April 18 2014 currently in a bear market market price $8.94 about National, National Australia Bank LTD engages in the provision of banking and financial services. Its services including banking, credit, and access credit facilities, leasing, housing, and general finance, international banking, investment banking, wealth management, funds management, and custodian, trustee, and nominee services. The company operates through five segments, consumer banking and wealth, business and private banking, corporate and institutional banking, NZ banking, and corporate functions and other. The consumer banking and wealth segment provides customers with access to independent advisors, including mortgage, brokers, and the financial planning network of self-employed, aligned, and salaried advisors in Australia. The business and private banking, banking focuses on serving customers through NAB business franchise, and specialist services in key segments. The corporate and institutional banking segment provides lending and transactional products and services related to financial and debt capital market, custody and alternative investments. The NZ, the NZ banking segment comprises of retail, business, agro, agro business, corporate and institutional, and insurance franchise franchises in New Zealand that operates under the Bank of New Zealand brand. The corporate functions and other segment 
include Treasury, te Treasury Technology and other supported units. The company was founded on October 4th, 1858 and is headquartered in Melbourne, Australia. NABZY is listed on the pink current market tier. OTC market data is provided by OTC Markets Group, INC, OTCMarkets.com. The current CEO is Andrew Gregor Thor Thorburn. Employees, 33,283. Headquarters, Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia. Founded in 1858. Been around. Market cap, 48.72 billion. Uh, dividend yield, 6.96, as you can see. High dividends. Buy 73%, hold 13%, those two together, more than 75%. The second global banking company is Grupo Ava. I'm pretty much out here. Um, before I jump into uh, this company, I'm currently out in Colombia. This company right here, for if you're an American, they, if you don't, if you're not like a, um, if you don't have a pension from the U.S. or pretty much a pension or your disability going straight into their bank, you won't get anything from these guys. So this is from an experience from an American living in Colombia. These banks, oh, as of now, this Banco de Occidente, they, they offered me uh, to buy, pretty much finance a car, but I got um, I wasn't able to get it because I need my uh, pretty much my disability coming here into their banks. So I mean I look at that in the future, but pretty much now all my business I do is in America. So especially with the market now. And that's why um, it's just something that I'm experiencing. And if you're an American, you can get credit in in Colombia. So um, I pretty much, I got two credit cards, and I just this bank right here is a big bank part of them. First, they went they were turning the other cheek on me, but now they're kind of like I mean this opportunity popped up, and I was like oh shit, but they want me to um, deposit my what's it called? They want me to deposit my compensation into their banks so I'll probably look into the future in that but there's opportunities in the world not just in the US US has opportunities but I mean living to me living in America 365 days out of the year you're gonna burn yourself out I, I did it all my life you know the stress the, you know I had several mental breakdowns it's, it's just because you gotta take you gotta you have to unplug from the U.S. This you have to, you have to. It's just the energy is too high, too geeked up for people. Um, there was an American yesterday. I was out in Cali, um, horseback riding with my son and an American. Wild and you know, it's just the energy. You know, it's just like damn, wild. You know, and I'm pretty. I'm, I'm adapted to the culture, and then plus with horses, they're like more sensitive. So he was. Um, shit on that uh well he's from chicago and shit and um you know i was kind of like i wanted to say you know go go over to him and be like hey man you know that uh, yo cool it you know but i didn't want him to look at it like i was being disrespectful but you know i just i seen it coming you know and then i think we took a break and he was just getting hyped up jumping off the horse i think he had a little uh colombian girlfriend so that too you know I hypes up a, a man, you know, because he, he was full of energy. I felt it. And then, I mean, when he bounces off, he's so geeked up. All you hear is boom, bop. The, ho the horse had bucked him right in the nuts. And then, you know, I went to the bathroom. I'm probably going to post a video on, like, the bathroom back there. It was like a, like a movie. Like, it was like a hidden. People were cooking, like, on, like, ancient, like, ancient ways of living. I, I, I got it on, um. Uh, I'm gonna post it on my other channel, Masculine and Confidence Confidence Building. Pretty much the uh, the event that happened. But yeah, that's Colombia for you. You know, I'm exploring. You know, but I'm I'm I can't wait to be back in February. So my months that I that I turn my energy back because out here that energy it doesn't serve anything because this is more of a, a like a where you kind of recoup you know your energy and all that. But going to America, you need. Yeah, um, 
you need all your energy going into them. Plus, I'm out there in San Francisco, Tech, Tech Valley. Um, you know, and I'm trying to I'm trying to get in somewhere, but you know, I'm a film filmmaker, so I'm trying to really get into both wherever the you know I can get paid about ten thousand a month, you know, and carry yourself. You know, the more that I'm studying, pushing out my own videos, I'm making my I know what my worth is. So, and don't go less on your worth, especially if you're putting in the work. You know, like if you're just saying it just to guys yourself up, ain't doing any work or learning any skills or reading or putting anything out. Just, nah, don't don't call it, don't. You're not worth it. But if you're really out there and you're seeing wh what's going on, oh yeah, you you could definitely say I'm worth you know ten thousand. I feel that position. You know, and just temporarily stack up all that money, you know, and don't get comfortable in, in that lifestyle. Because that's just a, a lifestyle creep when you get that type of money. Because you just want to ball out and you just start getting lazy. Nah. I'm definitely going to get a Tesla, though. I believe in Tesla. I'm still, um, I'm on, it's on the watch, watch list for, I want it to hit 260, but it hits 270. I'm going to grab a, a share of Tesla for the long term. Because I, um, I tried it back, I think it was October, when it was really volatile, when, when shit was hitting the fan with uh, Elon Musk. Um, I jumped in, like, but it didn't, it was just because the market was so volatile, it didn't let me get in at, I was trying to get in at, um, I think it was 260. That's the lowest I've ever seen it. I trying to, I think it's 160 or 260, I can't believe it, but it was one of those, it was real low. I tried to snatch it, but... Next day, they, um, they didn't let me um, capture it at that price because it had shot way back up again in 300 range. And I knew it was because it was so volatile. And it was like on a uh, Sunday going into a Monday. So I got jacked on that one. Wow. So now I'm going to try it again, but it's on my watch list to get. Okay, let me get back to this. Uh, Grupo Aval, as you can see, straight line. So it's fairly new, uh, currently in the bear market. Let's look at the peak. Peak, right when it opened at thirteen dollars and seventy-eight cents. Uh, current market market price six dollars and eighty-four cents. About Grupo Aval Acciones y Valores SA engages in the provision of banking and investment business. It operates through the following segments: Banco de Bogota, Banco de Occidente, Banco Avivilas, Banco Popular, and Cor, Corfi Colombiana, the Banco de Bogota, Banco de Occidente, Banco Avivilas, Banco Popular, and Corfi Colombiana segments provides, provide services related to banking activity in Colombia and other countries in commercial, consumer, as well as mortgage housing and microcredit banking. The core Corfi Colombiana segment also provides management of an equity portfolio. The company was founded by Luis Carlos Sarmienta Angulo on January 7th, 1994 and is headquartered in Bogota, Colombia. The current CEO, not listed, employees, 8,565, headquarters, Bogota, South America, Bogota, Colombia, founded in 1994, market cap, 2.43 billion, dividend yield, 4.73. That's pretty high. Buy 43%. Hold 57%. Those two together, more than 75%. Uh, the fourth global banking company is Banco Santander. Oh, this one. Okay, let's look at the five year. As you can see, the peak was back in August 29, 2014 at $15.06. Currently in a bear market. Market price, $7.33. About Banco Santander, Mexico, S.A. Institución de Banco Multiple Grupo Financiero Santander, Mexico, engages in the provision of banking and financial solution. It operates through the following segments. Retail banking global corporate banking, and corporate activities. The retail banking segment provides a range of services to individuals, private banking, small and medium enterprises, middle market corporations, and government institutions. The global corporate banking segment offers global transactions banking, 
Financial Solutions and Advi Ad Advisory and Corporate Finance to Mexican and Multinational Corporations, Financial Groups, and Large Institutional Clients. Its products include mortgages, credit cards, payroll, loans, loans, and other. The company is founded on November 16, 1932, and is headquartered in Mexico City, Mexico, Global Stock Investing. The current CEO is Hector Blas Grisi Checa. Employees, 15,116. Headquarters, Mexico City, Mexico, founded in 1932. Market cap, $4.87 billion. Dividend yield, 2.64. Buy, 28%. Hold, 61%. Those two together, more than 75%. So there you have it. Those are the four global banking companies and those four global banking companies total investment comes out to thirty three dollars and six cents so if you just have thirty thirty three dollars laying around put put it in these banks i mean what else are you gonna do with thirty three dollars i mean that thirty three dollars now in, in ten years twenty years from now you know how much work it's gonna put in versus you not putting uh, this is this is my philosophy by companies it's working it's gonna work your dollar in any there's other there's other money makers but those are pretty much you build those up slow like uh, real estate I'm gonna get into that also but they're slow they're slow you know even in up even in the fast and up market pretty much is there to you know purchase real estate and then uh, own it and then rent it that's how I see it and then pat generational wealth you know play that game so in conclusion ICICI Bank one share of ICICI Bank is $99.95 dividend yield 0 0.47 National Australia Australia Bank one share of National National Australia Bank is $8.94 Dividend yield 6.96. Grupo Aval. One share of Grupo Aval is $6.84. Dividend yield 4.71. Banco Santander. One share of Banco Santander is $7.33. Dividend yield 2.64. Outro. Subscribe to the channel. Comment any questions you have or recommendations. Like if the content was inspiring for you and share this information with other global stock investors. While you're slaying dragons, I'll be taming them.